And if you're lucky enough to get a forensic accountant on your financial exploitation case, um, that's terrific. They can help you assimilate and analyze um, what can be boxes and boxes of financial records on your case. And mostly, um, it's great to use them to talk about um, what happened in your particular case and to help you visualize that for the jury. It's one thing to have a witness talk about checks number 500 and 508 and 510, but a forensic accountant can take all of your boxes of material, analyze it, it's in evidence of course, and make very large charts that you can either have you know, there physically or you can have um, in, in PowerPoint displays to show what happened to the money because that's what we do in these cases. You know, exploiters follow the money and we follow the money too at trial. And you can show, say with the power of attorney, how the gift giving authority was, was used before there was exploitation versus after exploitation. You can show um, with a forensic accountant what happened to the victim's money in conjunction with what was happening with the victim's mental state. So if you can chart the various dates that the doctor gave about when he first saw dementia, like Alzheimer's disease, and when it became moderate and how, when it became severe, you can chart that, I'm just giving an example, with what happened to the victim's funds or what the agent pursuant to the power of attorney did with the funds. And it's, it's really illustrative and really a great, um, demonstration for the jury to see that visually and your forensic accountant is the perfect witness to do that with. If a prosecutor is from a smaller jurisdiction where a, a forensic accountant might not be available, are there other people that he or she could use in, its, in that person's place? Sure. I mean, it, it, it's great if you can call someone who is actually a practicing CPA and ask whether they could do this for a very low price, but there are other organizations that have uh, accountants on staff who may be willing to help. Um, you know, we have some in New York State, and I've seen some in other states, a society of CPAs, um, and, and there are others who, who may be willing to help out. And, and sometimes you'll, you'll end up calling the CPA who was the family accountant to assimilate your information that you've gotten via subpoena to testify as an expert. As we're working on a neglect case, we will have our forensic accountant look at the financial records and, and analyze them. A lot, of, a lot of prosecutor's offices don't have that luxury of having a forensic accountant, and it's something that I am incredibly grateful that we have. But um, that forensic accountant is a crucial player for us in working up even these neglect cases. So for prosecutors who don't have the luxury of having a forensic accountant, they can turn to fraud detectives or to other experts in their community to help them with the financial aspects of these cases.